if nobody watched me, I would not be on this platform. Chloe Grace is an influencer, whether she wants to admit it or not. Y'all really want me to be like in love and married and I get it. <laughs> One video with L'Oreal, I made more money than I've ever made working in corporate nine to five. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Girl, don't cry. <laughs> in today's video, I am going to be sharing something super special. This is my 10 year anniversary of being on YouTube and oh, it has been such a journey. <laughs> you all, some of you all have been here through every moment, all my highs, all my lows, and definitely the times when I was coasting in between. I cannot believe that I have been on YouTube for a decade. It has been a decade of growth. That's all I can say. I am just so grateful and thankful to still be on this platform after a decade sharing the things that I love with the people that I love and appreciate the most. Um, I know I always tell you guys that I'm so appreciative, but as we go through today's video, you're gonna see just how much you all have been such an instrumental part of my life and my growth. So today's video is gonna be a fun one. We are taking a trip down memory lane. I am sharing something sentimental with you all that I bought for myself, but I'm also going to be highlighting my top 10 moments on my channel. I have been very open in the past few years about my struggles with content creation and being an influencer, but that is that is minuscule when I think of the highlights that I have had on this platform, in this space, and as part of this career avenue for me. So today's video is gonna be special. If you guys would like to see more about my journey, learn more about me, and learn about some of the amazing things that I've had the opportunity to do in my 10 years on YouTube, then please keep watching. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This video, I have to say, is dedicated to you all. I always, and very honest about the fact that I am still in this space because of you all because though 31,000 people who have hit the subscribe button do not watch my channel regularly there is a group of you all who appreciate what I bring to the platform who appreciate me for me who love me care for me check on me who inspire me and who truly keep me going and while I know that my being on this platform is part of my works. The other part of it is your support. And so at every milestone, I like to appreciate you guys because if nobody watched me, I would not be on this platform. So thank you so much to you all. It's crazy to think that I have been in this space for a decade. Some people don't stay in a job or a career for this long. So first I just wanna share a bit about my backstory, how I landed on this channel. I have always always been a beauty enthusiast and when I got to college I went to Spelman College here in Atlanta Shout out to all my Spelmanites. I went to beauty events with my friends. I wore makeup even though it wasn't that great. I'll try to insert some pictures of my earlier days. I was 18. I was finally able to wear makeup and I went in and one of my friends specifically Ashley if you're watching hi girl she still watches my channel to this day she inspired me to start a channel and back then I was like me like what do I know you know doubting myself I created the doubt in my mind and I didn't start my channel then it wasn't until I graduated college and I'd almost graduated from my master's program that I decided to start my channel my very first video you guys will see me react to <laughs> in a few days it blossomed from there if you go back and watch the earlier content on my channel I am not the same person I have grown in my womanhood I've grown just in my confidence in my faith I am so much more self-assured now and I don't know that's what I like to look at when I view my journey it's just the growth I mean 20 years ago I would have never thought I'd be on a platform such as this for a decade sharing myself my life my ups and downs everything so I just always like to share a bit of my journey I ended up on YouTube because a friend told 
told me I should and I didn't start then. So if you feel the need, the desire to get on this platform and share whatever it is, know there is a space for you. I know people think that social media is oversaturated, everybody's doing it, but everybody is not you. I am very well aware that I'm not the typical mid thirties girl in Atlanta that's a beauty influencer, but my people appreciate me for me. So it's never too late, do what you love. And I am a prime example of that. I haven't gotten out of this space what I wished to, but when I look at my journey, I didn't have any goals for starting out. So I'm just so very appreciative. So thank you, Ashley, for planting the seed that would grow to be this. I'm so appreciative. So hey, girl. <laughs> so I wanted to share with you guys one of the things that I bought for myself. It's so special to me. I don't know that I will ever amass 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I've amassed 31,000 in 10 years and that's amazing to me. But I don't see myself, if I can just be honest, I don't see myself in this space long enough to amass 100,000 subscribers. But I wanted to buy something for myself that was special because 10 years in a career space that I think that should be celebrated. So I made this award for myself and I'll show you guys. It has my brand's logo at the top and it says recognizing Keiko Beauty. Congratulations on 10 years of creating YouTube content as a beauty influencer. And I put a Bible verse at the bottom. It says, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give you and that's John chapter 15 verse 16 and this is just so meaningful to me when I am long and gone off this platform uh, I will have this to always look at to think of my time here on YouTube I don't ever see myself getting that plaque from Google but I wanted something sentimental. I did buy myself some gifts, <laughs> but this means the world to me because it encompasses the past decade of dedication to the art of beauty, to sharing for my beauties, to being on this platform, inspiring others, helping others, and growing in myself. So I definitely wanted to share that. I am a firm believer in treating yourself, in acknowledging your greatness, and you don't have to wait for others to do it. So yes, I bought this plaque for myself and I will be displaying it in my office. It just means so much to me. So let's get into the top 10 moments on my channel. I am gonna start at number 10 and we're gonna work our way up. <laughs> <Ding. laughs> what? <laughs> did, did I do something wrong? I got all these great tips from watching 10 second videos so I can look like my favorite beauty guru. Yay! <laughs> Don't have your makeup looking like that when you can have your makeup looking like this. With my help, of course, you can get this look or any preferred look that you would like. Check out my website for makeup consultations, skincare consultations, also a makeup one-on-one -on -one class and a group masterclass that meets monthly. I'm so excited to offer these products to be able to help you all achieve the look that you desire and to help provide lots of great product recommendations. So check out my website. Don't, don't look like me before. Be beat, polished, and beautiful. <laughs> Slay your day effortlessly and I'm here to help you do so. Ting. Now I picked these videos according to what I love and what you guys have loved as well. So the number 10 spot is my Hawaiian vacation, which I just went on this past December. It was an entire family vacation and it was just the most amazing thing ever. This had to be included in this video because Hawaii is a dream destination for me that I never thought I would ever get to experience because it's so expensive and it's so far. And and it's just a reminder of how even when you don't think certain things are attainable, they are. So I just want to share a few moments from that vlog with you all. So this is just me lounging and luxuriating in the pool, being a pool babe. <laughs> oh, take me back to Hawaii. This was so fun. It was just so beautiful and picturesque. 
Y'all know I love a good pool frolic. Beautiful, guys. <laughs> this is awesome. So this is the we reflection love a good pool. pool There's no kids. So yeah, so y'all get to see me with some hair hair natural so, hair. Let me show y'all my bag. Um, we were getting ready to go out to eat. The night is from Shein, and this was like seven bucks. I love it, love I it. I want my natural hair. You can hair. wear it like this. I think this trip was just so gorgeous. All the food in Hawaii, everything was just so yummy. So if you would like to see more of that Hawaii vlog, I will definitely link that down below. Okay, in our number nine spot, we have a video that I did with my dear friend Dominique. You all loved this video. I don't know if it was just the teaser of a male being in my video that like, cause y'all really want me to be like in love and married and I get it. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord knows that there is one out there for me, but I don't know if it was the teasing of a male being in my video, but you guys ended up really loving the content in this one. So thank you to my friend Dominique if you are watching. We both love fragrance. He's been on my channel a plethora of times and you all enjoy him. This was definitely a fun video. Um, I don't love vibrato. Let's see. Someone oh told God. me that it reminds them of something, but I can't say right now, but it's really, really You can't say it because they're appropriate. video yeah, was so that. fun. Yeah, it's not like a flower that can make that can have a is so crazy. But that is our like, those are our personalities through and through. Our personalities are very similar, although he's probably me like to the 10th degree, but <laughs> we always have a great time when we get together. So if you guys love fragrance and you enjoy my friend Dominique and his personality, he's so interesting. <laughs> Definitely check out that video. We're talking about our top five fragrances and there's a lot of good fragrances in that video. But I was just so happy to have someone be a guest on my channel who enjoys being in the spotlight because you all know I don't share my family. I don't share too many of my friends who aren't on social media themselves because most people don't want to be on camera on the internet, but he loves it. So shout out to Dominique. I'll link that video down below. Okay, in the eighth spot, we have a video that is so sentimental now as Wendy Williams uh, is battling health concerns. When I heard the news, the first thing I immediately did was go to watch this vlog. So this is a vlog from nine years ago. <laughs> the very beginning on my channel when I was living in New York City and my brother and I went to a taping of the Wendy Williams show. That was something that I always wanted to do. So if you don't know, well, I don't know if it's like this now, you can just go online. It's like a lottery system and you can apply to attend free tapings of shows. So that was one of the best parts about living in New York City. I did not like living in New York City. Too crowded, the people are rude, it's dirty, but it was nice being able to attend things like this. And so I'm forever grateful for that period of my life when I was living in New York City, when I was getting my master's degree, I was able to go to the Wendy Williams show. So let's take a look. This is Baby Keiko Beauty. Oh my goodness, this is me getting on the subway. Uh, she's not a subway girly at all but you know we do what we have to do and this day you all it was like 11 degrees i was freezing super my cold legs are like blocks of ice that can't even feel them right now <laughs> 12 to degrees y'all you know i'm a true if wendy williams lover if i'm in the cold in 12 degree weather to see what you want so we should be coming look at baby kango my hair was so long then and she was skinny yes she was skinny Okay, let's get to the good part when Wendy was there. So the thing was, you couldn't really record during the actual taping, but when it was over, you could take out your cameras, and I think I got a clip or two of Wendy. I'm going back to Jersey. There's Wendy! <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> so 
so that was my vlog of visiting the Wendy Williams show. I'm so grateful to have had that experience, especially because the show has now been canceled. If you would like to see that vlog, it's unlisted, but I will link that down below. Okay, in the number seven spot, we have when I traveled to New Jersey last year in June, and I met up with some of my favorites on YouTube, AI the Great, The Ev Effect, and Lavishly Chi Chi. That was so much fun. I'm not someone who's like super outgoing, so the fact that I have been able to meet people and get to know them, people that I've been watching on YouTube for years, or just know and love and appreciate, that was just such a fun trip. And because I didn't go for such a fun reason, I was happy to have that little bit of joy sprinkled in. So let's take a look. Don't do it. Yeah. I don't like it and I was never able to like articulate why, but that's what it is. It's like this is separate. <laughs> First of all, the Ev Effect and AI the Great are gorgeous models. They are so tall and beautiful. They were so sweet. It was so nice meeting them. We went out to dinner. Uh, we FaceTimed Denise Adore. Hey, girl. Hi. Well, okay, so first of all, what is everybody drinking? We had such a great what was time. Drunk? <laughs> all the yummy food, the libations, and great girl talk. <laughs> And I love when vloggers get together because we all understand what it's like. So that's one thing that I'm so grateful for. Not only being on this channel and how you guys inspire me and I get to meet you all, but other content creators as well who understand what being in this space is like. Not too many people in my real life understand this space, but I'm so, so appreciative of my girls. So I will link AI the Great, The Ev Effect, Denise Adore, and Lavishly Chi Chi's channels down below. And I'll link this video so you guys can check it out. Okay, in the number six spot, speaking of me, Meetups. This was my very first meetup ever. I didn't realize that I've actually had two meetups in Atlanta. I had one six years ago. It was at Linux Mall. I I remember this so vividly. We went to Sephora and then we went to the Cheesecake Factory. And of that group, I have become friends with so many of those women and we still keep in contact. So yeah, I just wanted to share my very first meetup in Atlanta, which is amazing because I'm also very shy. So this was really stepping outside of my comfort zone, but everyone was so amazing and welcoming, which is why I've had two. But yeah, this video is from six years ago. So let's take a look. Aww. I can't believe I had a beat up. And like, there was a great group of people who came to. Ooh, Louisiana chicken pasta, yum. My cousin even came to the meet up because she was in Atlanta at the time. Beautiful ladies are running from the camera. <laughs> I wish I could just. Oh, there's Brittany. Oh, 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 look at all my girls. <laughs> but we're just leaving. Lunch was so yummy. I ran my mouth the entire time and barely ate my food. What else is there? <laughs> but we're going to Sephora and I'm so excited because. We love Sephora. I want to go shopping for makeup and we're going to find new things and we're going to try color. Yeah. Look at me being an OG beauty influencer. Who is this girl? I'm gonna take a selfie. But yeah, I'll vlog Sephora. So then we go to Sephora and we go shopping. They told me, I think, to stop filming. It was, it was this whole deal about filming in Sephora. If you're watching this video and you came to my first meetup, thank you so much for your support. That was so much fun. And like I said, I still keep up with so many of the ladies who attended that meetup. I don't know if I'll have another meetup in the future, but maybe, we'll see. That was so fun. So if you'd like to see my first meetup, I will link that video down below. Okay, in the number five spot is the video on my channel that has the highest views of all time. This is not necessarily necessarily one of my favorite videos, but I had to talk about this because this video was put up within the first year of me being on YouTube and now it is at 108,000 views. It is not a secret that my videos don't do that well analytically. I'm fine with that. I'm not here to win a popularity contest, but I just think that's so interesting that the most viewed video on my channel is a video within the first year of me being on YouTube. If you watch it, it's Baby Keiko. I'm probably not as well spoken. Like I said, the growth. We thank God for the growth. But this is the Illu Mask Anti Acne Light Therapy Mask Review. And I got 108,000 views. Like, wow. So let's take a look. 
Y'all, look at me filming this video with boxes in the background. I definitely didn't care about all the aesthetics, but this was almost 10 years ago. 10 years ago, YouTube was not about aesthetics and vibes. I mean, not that I care about that now, but I would never film a video now with a bunch of Sephora boxes in the corner. I just think that's so funny. I did like it. I was so skinny. I was a baby. Look at my head, it's so small. I have 11 uses left, but I wanted to make sure I did a review Oh, I looked like so non-secure in myself. I hate that. But this is an acne mask that was supposed to kill the bacteria on your face. I still don't know if I think masks like this work, but they still do have them to this day. And this was like a $30 mask. So if you want to see that review, I'll link it down below. Definitely baby Keiko vibes. I'll just say that. <laughs> in the number four spot, we have my very first Sephora sponsorship. So I have done two Sephora sponsorships to date, but this was my first Sephora sponsorship. And let me just say, I have not had very many big sponsorships, but being a person that is a beauty enthusiast and that has worked at Sephora and loved Sephora for years, it was like a dream come true. Thank you once again to you all for making this happen. Thank you for shopping my links. Thank you for viewing and supporting my content. A Sephora sponsorship is huge huge. So let's take a look at my first Sephora sponsorship. It's a haul and we love hauls. Oh, I remember that. If you guys have been following Pharmacy has such a great cleansing balm. Look at the quality of this video. This must be in 4K. A I don't know. Oh, this was my birthday haul. So these are items that I got for my birthday. Strawberries and cream. So I'm so excited about this. Strawberries and cream. Y'all, this is my favorite cleansing balm. The Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm is amazing. And this was a limited edition strawberry skin, scent. But it is still really emollient, so it works well. It removes all my mascara. She is beat, honey. We love a good red lip. <laughs> You know that I love a good Sephora haul and it's so interesting because the very first video on my channel was actually a Sephora haul. Such a full circle moment. I'm just so appreciative. So check out that video. I will have it linked down below. Okay, the third spot on this list is actually my biggest brand deal ever. Now, that was to date because I just completed a brand deal with L'Oreal last month and that <laughs> oh, we're talking some figures. That was my biggest brand deal ever. I can't disclose how much money I recently made, but let's just say from one video with L'Oreal, I made more money than I've ever made working in corporate nine to five. So these brands are out here paying your girl. And like I said, I don't get very many large sponsorships like that. Whew, but when I got it, I was so appreciative. So yeah, let's take a look at <laughs> the third top video over the past 10 years, my biggest brand deal ever with the biggest beauty brand in the world, L'Oreal. Let's take a look. Say that this is not my last stop and no, I had not. to go through that period of time of doubting myself. It wasn't necessarily that I doubted what I bring to the platform because I watch other channels and I don't think anyone's lesser than, but it's YouTube is a numbers game. Influencing is a numbers game. It is all about how popular you are. And unfortunately for the world, not for me, <laughs> I don't wish to be popular. And when I went through that experience and I got to the other side, I was checking my email one day and someone from, well, I guess I can tell you, someone from L'Oreal reached out to me. And uh, so anytime a brand contacts me, I start doing my <laughs> So I'll link this video down below, but I just talk about how I thought about leaving YouTube because I was feeling very discouraged. And I want to say within a week, the biggest beauty brand in the world contacted me to do a sponsorship that at that point was my largest brand deal ever. And it was just such a full circle moment. Even as I sit here today, 10 years later, not having reached the level of success I see for myself, but I have had so many amazing moments along my trajectory and I'm just so grateful and thank you to L'Oreal for continuing to work with me. I am just so, so grateful. I will leave that video down below. It's a very inspirational story also for anyone who is in this content creation space and feeling like, why am I here? So check that out. Okay, 
And the number two spot of the second most amazing video, the top video on my channel over the past 10 years is my baby Chloe Grace's first birthday. Now you all know that my baby is now eight years old. She might be a Shih Tzu but I treat her like a human so her very first birthday I did it big. I do it big for her every year but for her first birthday I went all out and this vlog has been viewed 69,000 times. Your girl Chloe Grace is an influencer whether she wants to admit it or not. She was actually featured in a news special on NBC. I have since had to turn the comments off for the video because apparently people don't like to see a spoiled Shih Tzu living her best birthday life. So that's unfortunate but I got Chloe during my 10 years of being on YouTube and she is one of the greatest gifts to my life ever. So let's check out her birthday. Look at mama's baby. She still loves Zoomies. Yes, your birthday muffin, you won. Can you say one? <laughs> one. Come on, boo-boo. Come Aww. on, baby. I love that little girl so much. Oh she has God. an entire table That's spread full of accoutrements. So Every year like, I get her a custom cake. She says, happy birthday, Chloe. That's my baby, y'all. That is from Okra and Molly. We I still get cakes from them. I made labels for the water bottles. I had pizza for the adults. <laughs> so I'll link that full video down below to see how my baby Chloe Grace spent her first fabulous birthday ever. As long as she is my baby, I will continue giving her the world. And the fact that that video has almost 70,000 views is so amazing. I love Chloe Grace so, so much. Okay, in the number one spot, you guys, the number one video on my channel. I think this is your favorite video as well as mine. And for a few reasons, this was the first video that I ever shared so much of my personality where I gave myself so much creative freedom, where I used every bit of editing skill that I had at that time, where I just did something fun. I love to watch channels that do challenges and that do regular vlogs like I don't just watch beauty content so this video is the number one video it doesn't have the most views and it's not a beauty content video but it was so much fun and the editing in this video was superb with the sound effects and the text on the screen and just everything I really did my thing in this video and you all laughed so hard so this is my 24 hours as a baddie my long nail challenge you guys know I like to have nubs but a lot of my friends have really long nails and I wanted to see what it would be like to have long nails for 24 hours it was a struggle so let's take a look look at me in the car just showing off all my nails you don't you really don't. Look I'm at my give nails. Up. Give it up. Give it up right now. Give it up to wear long nails and do so flawlessly. Like, y'all don't look crazy like I do because I look a fool. But I'm having fun. <laughs> This is my true personality, you guys. I have a ball all by myself in the car. Look at how ridiculous So much fun. <laughs> it's me trying to eat Chick fil A. How do y'all do this? <laughs> I mean, are they technically super long? This is super long yes. for me. Yes, and they're curved. <laughs> Look at me trying to touch the steering wheel. Y'all, that video was so fun. So if you want to get a good laugh, definitely check out my 24 hours as a baddie. I will link that video down below. Oh, you guys, it's been an amazing 10 years here on my channel on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed this walk down memory lane. I have had so many amazing moments and this is just the tip of the iceberg. There have been so many other moments that are just as poignant and special, at least to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you for being such an amazing part of my journey. I do not think I will be on YouTube for another 10 years. Only God knows. But thank you all so much for your love and encouragement and support. Thank you for allowing me to grow in this space and to fully share all of me without feeling like it won't be received well. 10 years ago, Keiko Beauty would have never shown her personality, but Keiko Beauty in 2024, you're gonna get all of her personality. And I know that that's not everyone's cup of tea, but thank you for allowing me to just show up as myself authentically. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for an amazing 10 years on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.